Anna, I heard you're getting married. Are you? You didn't even give me the chance to tell you no. You did this without my permission. So you think you're all that now, huh? What? How do you know about my marriage? Who told you? What do you mean, how do I know? An invitation to your wedding found itself in my mailbox this morning. Do you want my attention that badly? Is that why you sent me an invitation? And now you're pretending that you don't know anything about it? That's such a childish way of doing things, honestly. You went out of your way to do that even though there's no point. So pathetic. What are you saying? Why on earth would I want your attention? I never even wanted you to know about my wedding in the first place. Why would I send a wedding invitation to the person who cut me out of her life anyways? I don't consider you my mother anymore. I didn't send it to you anyways. I would never. Then what is this? Are you going to tell me that you made some mistake and it got accidentally delivered to us? Or some lame excuse like that? All you want is our attention, you spoiled brat. Give me a break. I can't believe someone would want to marry someone like you in the first place. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to take a guess and say that the one who sent the invitation was my fiancé's mother. Even though I explained the nature of our relationship to her and told her not to send it, I guess she feels really strongly about family and love or whatever. She kept saying things like, but your family, she's your own blood, and she wouldn't listen to me. So I wouldn't be surprised if she went and sent out the invitation even after I told her not to. It wasn't my intention. So you can go ahead and throw it out. Oh, all right then. That's fine, I suppose. I was so confused because I couldn't believe that you'd want me to come to your wedding out of nowhere. I don't think some ugly failure of a human being such as yourself could be anything like my daughter. You're nobody to me. My only daughter is my precious and adorable little Susan. She is the only one that matters to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go again. I've heard that speech so many times, I can recite it by now. If you want me to, I can. I'm a failure because I take after my father and I never got good grades. I'm ugly and useless. And my little sister takes after you, an honor student. So she's your most prized possession. She's so beautiful and makes you so proud. Did I get it right? That's right. Plus... Susan just graduated from medical school and became a doctor at a very well-known and prestigious hospital. There's no use in trying to compare you two. She's leagues better than you could ever be. I'm so proud of her. Uh-huh. I know, I know. Growing up, you'd always treat us differently. You always treated her like the princess and treated me like some stray dog. You always made her blueberry pancakes for breakfast. And then you'd give me some can of tuna or something horrible. You would always buy her brand new clothes all the time. And then you'd give me hand-me-down clothes from the neighbors. You even gave Susan her own giant bedroom and made me sleep in the storage closet. Are you done yet? Every Christmas, all the presents under the tree had Susan's name on them. I don't remember ever getting a single gift. You took her to Disney World once and left me at home by myself for three days straight. 
I even remember when you got Susan a pet hamster, and you never allowed me to play with him. When I graduated from middle school, you flat out stopped taking care of me. I managed to get a scholarship to go to a school that had dorms. But when Susan went to medical school, you paid her entire tuition. Do you want me to go on? Well, isn't that obvious? There's no reason why I would spend any money on a useless, ugly girl like you. That's such a waste. By the way, I'm not going to help you pay for your wedding. Nor am I sending you any money. Not a single cent. But when Susan gets married, I'm going all out. I can't wait to throw her the biggest wedding ever. I wasn't expecting you to send me anything in the first place. I didn't even want you to know about my wedding. Ugh, you haven't changed a bit. You're such a disgusting person. That's exactly why Dad left you. What did you say? What do you mean by that? It means exactly how it sounds. He hated how you treated us so differently, and he couldn't stand being around you anymore. He walked out right after I started high school, didn't he? You go around calling people's failures and whatever else. But you haven't realized that you failed your marriage as well. Who do you think you're talking to with that tone? How dare you talk to me like that? What a rude and insolent woman you are. You'll never amount to anything in life. I'd never go to see your sad little wedding, even if it was the last place on earth. Even if you end up having kids. I do not accept them as my grandchildren. They'd just be as ugly and useless as you are anyway. I don't want you to come. Plus, I don't want my kids to ever see your face. I don't even want them to know you exist. I'll make up some dumb story why you couldn't come, so my mother-in-law doesn't get upset. Bye. And that's what happened. Can you believe that, girl? I can't believe she's your sister. Even after I went out of my way to reach out to her. How terrible. You think she's terrible too, don't you, Susan? How can she treat me like that? Oh, Mom. She's terrible. She's acting all high and mighty just because she's getting married. She's quite conceited and insolent for someone so ugly, isn't she? Mom, you poor thing. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Thank you, dear. You're all I have, Susan. You're the only person who matters to me in this entire world. That failure of a human got me feeling so irritated. Wait, is she seriously getting married, though? She's way too ugly for that. It's got to be some kind of lie. <laughs> but even if it's true, that guy she's marrying has to be some smelly, ugly piece of trash anyways. <laughs> Probably some random guy off the street. That's exactly what I was thinking. I honestly can't believe it. How can that ugly witch get married before you? I know, right? I just got a great idea. Maybe I should crash that woman's wedding. <laughs> I can mess everything up for her. Oh, what's this now? I'm listening. I mean, I'm still kind of her relative, so I can still sneak into her wedding without any invitation. After I sneak in, I can do something like throw an alcohol in her dress. Accidentally, you push over the cake. Or, maybe I can even steal her fiancé. I'm prettier than Anna anyways, so I'm sure he'll fall for me easily. Then, he'll call off the wedding. <laughs> he'll leave her to marry me. Then, I can completely destroy her wedding and embarrass her for the rest of her pathetic life. <laughs> what do you think, Mom? Doesn't that sound fun? I think she deserves it for humiliating our family for all these years. Well, 
It definitely does sound interesting. That's my Susan. That's a wonderful idea. That day, my boss is taking the day off from work, so I'm sure it won't be a problem if I'm gone for like half the day. I'll just sneak out for a second and crash your wedding. They don't even know I'm gone. How about this? You should wear a white dress to the wedding too. What? Seriously? Should I go that far? That's so crazy, but it's amazing. You should say something like, Oh, I thought this was my wedding, so that's why I'm wearing this white dress. <laughs> I'll get you a dress. So don't worry about it. Make sure you get a good look at her dumb face when this all happens. Maybe I can even post them online afterwards. <laughs> I can't wait to see her reaction. I'll let you know when I have the dress ready. Anna, congrats on getting married. I hope you enjoy your wedding. Um, excuse me. What are you trying to do? Where did that come from? This isn't like you at all. Come on now. I'm wishing you well, and that's how you respond? What's wrong with me congratulating you? You literally don't have a single reason to congratulate me. If I knew any better, it sounds like you were planning something. What are you up to? You really aren't a very nice woman, are you? I knew I would be wasting my time trying to be nice to you. But whatever. It doesn't matter. I will not be attending your wedding today. But Susan will be stopping by the venue. She has her hands full with preparations, so she'll get there quite late, though. What? Nobody told me she was coming. I'm pretty sure that I didn't invite her. My mother-in-law sent you an invitation, but she didn't send Susan one. So what's this about? She's making up for the fact that I couldn't go. Wouldn't your mother-in-law feel better if someone from your family attended? Besides, she's your own sister. What if she just wanted to go to support you? It was her idea. She's so open-hearted and kind, unlike you. She's even taking time off from her busy, busy job so she can go to your wedding. Isn't that sweet? Susan hasn't done a single thing to support me in her entire life. She's never been nice to me, and she never played with me when we were kids. Why would she suddenly want to come to my wedding? You should be grateful. She's doing this for you. She's still your sister, even if she hasn't been nice to you. She's such a thoughtful and amazing girl. Are you done? Can I talk now? Listen. It doesn't make any sense that she would just decide to break into my wedding without an invitation. You must be up to something. That's the only way it makes sense. I suppose you'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, make sure you prepare a seat for your sister. I'm sure you'll be surprised with her gift. <laughs> I see. Well, I'll be sure to let the reception guy know to put her on the list. I'm just making sure of something. Does Susan know who my fiancé is? Just wondering. She doesn't. And I'm sure she doesn't care either. Why does she need to know the sorry loser who has the misfortune of marrying you? She doesn't have time to worry about trivial things like that. She's a busy woman. Hmm, okay. Sucks to be her then. Hey, Mom. This is really bad. I don't know what to do. Help! I can't believe this is happening to me. What? 
What happened? Did you get a good look at her dumb face? It was probably a hundred times uglier than it usually is. <laughs> That's not what I'm texting you about. Mom, this is really serious. You have to listen to me. What is? Tell me what happened then. Anna's fiancé. He's the hospital director's son. The hospital that I work at. What? You can't be serious. That's right, I'm dead serious. He was my boss's son this entire time, which means he'll next in line to take over the hospital. I can't believe it, I don't know what to do. I saw a bunch of my managers and supervisors attending the wedding. And I even saw some doctors and nurses and receptionists who work there too. Goodness, are you sure? That's not good, is it? No kidding! It's way worse than not good. There were so many people who I knew there, so my plan got busted right away. They'll recognize me. What should I do? I don't even know if I'll be able to go to work tomorrow. I'll never be able to show my face in that hospital again. I definitely won't get off without a scolding. They're going to do so much worse, I know it. What if they report me? Or even fire me. And now they know I was skipping to work. This is horrible. If they spread the news throughout the hospital, I can't work there anymore. I can't be a doctor anymore. No. What about your career? Mom, what should I do? I ran out of there as fast as I could. But my supervisor is blowing up my phone. What should I do? Mom. You have to come and help me! I don't know. I don't know, okay? I didn't even go to the wedding. This has nothing to do with me. This was your idea. Deal with it on your own. Leave me out of this. What? You are the one who told me to wear this stupid white dress. You even agreed to me breaking into the wedding. You were completely on board. All I did was... Do what you told me to. Yeah, it was my idea, but it's your fault too. You should do something about this. Shut up. It's not my fault. You did this all on your own. All I did was give you the dress. This has nothing to do with me. You went and then broke it yourself. Mom, you're so terrible. Don't leave me to figure this out on my own. I'm your precious and adorable little Susan. Mom? Mom, are you there? Don't leave me! Hey, you! Stop ignoring my calls! You better pick up that phone. Answer me! Damn, that's a lot of missed calls and messages. I don't think I've ever seen this many notifications at one time. Just what have you been doing this entire time? Why were you ignoring me? This is really important. I just got home from after the party. Man, it was so fun. I had the best time ever. Today was the best day of my life. You had the best time? Well, that's good for you. We're having the worst day ever, and it's your fault. Susan just got home and ran straight to her room. She won't even come out or even open the door. I keep trying to call her, but she doesn't pick up the phone. I don't know what to do. Well, yeah. If I embarrassed myself like that in front of my coworkers, I wouldn't come out of my room either. I knew you guys were up to something, but I would have never have guessed she would try to crash my wedding, wearing a wedding dress herself. It was so much worse than I expected. I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Her co-workers? So it's true then? All of the people at your wedding work at her hospital? And your husband? Is he really... Yep, 
My husband is the heir to that hospital. I actually work at a pharmaceutical manufacturing company, and I met him through a project I was in charge of. Why wouldn't you tell us sooner? If we knew your husband was Susan's boss, this would never have happened. We cut ties years ago. What do I need to tell you anything for? I didn't even remember Susan worked there anyways. But now that you mention it, I did recognize the name of the hospital. But I didn't think it to be important, huh? Plus, even if I did decide to tell you, you would just laugh at me and tell me I was lying. There's no point either way. I'm the one whose wedding almost crashed. There's no reason for you to be playing the victim right now. Even though the wedding still continued without any problems, you both are finished. Especially Susan. Because my husband did not take the turn of events very lightly. Stop the foolishness. You know all of this is your fault. Thanks to you, Susan will probably never be able to go back to work. What are you going to do about that? She went to medical school for years. She worked so hard. We spent so much money on her education. She finally fulfilled her lifelong dream. And you're just going to ruin it like that? Oh well, that sucks, doesn't it? I don't know if you have ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow. In other words, you have to deal with the consequences of your actions. You have to do something about this. Tell them it was all just an act and you asked her to do it. Pretend it was supposed to be an entertainment act or something. Anything. Just make something up. You have to tell them that you planned the whole thing. Why? I don't have to do anything. What do you mean, why? This is for Susan's sake. Your little sister. What kind of big sister are you? Now you want to act like we're a family? Both you and Susan have treated me like trash for your entire lives. Now you just look stupid to try to kiss back up to me. Why do I have to put myself at risk to help you too? I'll have to politely refuse. What? How rude. I raised you and this is the thanks I get? You are an ungrateful witch. I'd rather be an ungrateful witch any day of the week than help you. I've never even felt like I should be grateful to you. You even treated the stupid pit hamster better than you treated me. Plus, even if I did try to make up some crap about what happened at the wedding, it's no use. It's too late for all that. I already told them everything. You did what? There's no way. How could you? When Susan ran out of the venue, my husband asked me what that was all about. They had to explain our relationship to everyone, and I ended up telling them about my whole childhood and everything. I told them all the terrible things you both did to me when I was growing up, all the excruciating details. And of course, I added in a little bit of drama while I told them my sad sob story. Some people actually shed a couple of tears. <laughs> what the hell? You injured your big mouth? How could you? You don't have any business telling those random people about our private family matters. After seeing Susan like that, they all believed me immediately. They're all on my side. Even my mother-in-law. She never understood the nature of our relationship, but it looks like this finally opened her eyes. She came crying to me and apologizing for sending the invitation. She even said she feels this whole thing was her fault. She told me that she'll do anything to make up for it. So I feel like we'll have a smooth relationship. I guess I can thank you for that. I didn't think I'd actually be grateful to you for something, 
Imagine that. But anyways, we went off on a tangent. The point is, Susan might not have a job tomorrow. Stop messing around with me. Take it back. All of it. Go tell them it was all stories you made up. What are you going to do if Susan loses her job? You need to take responsibility for this. It's your fault after all. Which part of it is my fault? You two are the ones who tried to crash my wedding, remember? You just failed. You messed everything up by yourselves. Well, it's your fault for having the damn wedding in the first place. You didn't tell us who your fiancé was. It's your fault. Everything is your fault. You can't do anything right. You ugly failure of a human being. You ruined our lives. That's a really stupid and an accurate accusation. I really just can't keep this up. No matter what I say, you'll never stop these horrific comments. But just tell Susan this. My father-in-law, or as you know him, the director of the hospital, was extremely furious. She honestly might lose her job tomorrow. Even if they don't fire her immediately, which I doubt, everyone at the hospital will know what she did. I think she'll be isolated and be an outcast. She better start applying for other places, don't you think? I wonder if anywhere else will actually hire her, though. It's quite a small industry here in this city. Rumors travel fast. Imagine, the daughter that you loved and raised so well. She finally became a doctor, but now she's unemployed. Sucks to be her. What? What? You... You must be joking, right? Please tell me you're joking. I don't think we're on joking terms, Jill. If you try to crash your boss's wedding, there's literally no way you'd be able to stay at that job. Don't you understand that? Well, we didn't know. Please, can you just do something about this? I hate to see Susan like this. Plus, if Susan loses her job, we won't be able to survive. I can't live if she's unemployed. Right. You've been completely relying on her income, haven't you? Well, I don't work at that hospital. I also try not to bring up topics about work with him. So there's really nothing I can do about it. After all, I am useless, aren't I? I can't do a damn thing right. It's just like you've been telling me my whole life. Sorry. No. Please. Can't you do anything at all? Please, I'll do anything. Help your mom out, won't you? My mom? Don't make me laugh. Just as you've never thought of me as your daughter, I've never thought of you as my mother, either. I'm exhausted. I'm going to sleep. Please, never contact me again. Wait, wait, Anna, please don't go. Can you please help me? I hope you live happily ever after with your precious daughter who destroyed her own life with her ugly personality. Goodbye. I still can't believe she would come in a white wedding dress and try to crash my wedding. She really thought she was going to get me. But all it did was show how stupid she was. Both of them. They're so foolish and pitiful. After Susan humiliated herself in front of all her co-workers and superiors, she shut herself in the house and never left. It sounds like she was fired after multiple unexcused absences. I'm surprised they actually didn't fire her immediately after the incident. Susan never failed at anything. She was always Mummy's perfect princess. This was the first time anything like this has ever happened to her. This broke her dignity and pride in half like a toothpick. 
I don't know if she'll ever recover from it, if I'm being honest. As for my mother, she lost her only source of income, so she panicked. She tried to slide up to me to get close, but I blocked her on WhatsApp and all other platforms. I had to also move out of my current apartment so she wouldn't find me. I now live with my husband and his parents. Without any way to reach me, she really hit rock bottom. She's been scraping by with her savings, but that won't last forever. I also heard that she and Susan get into huge fights every day, so I can't imagine that house is very peaceful. I'm sure there are other things they should be doing rather than fighting, but they're really just so stupid. Instead of trying to look for jobs, all they do is make their lives even more miserable. On the other hand, I'm great. My husband and his family are really considerate of what I've been through, and we have a genuinely good relationship. My mother-in-law spoils and pampers me like I'm her own daughter. Even though I'm a grown adult, I don't mind it. It feels like she's trying to make up for all my childhood years, when I never had a good mother. I really do appreciate her efforts. Plus, she told me she's always wanted a daughter, so it works out both ways. Nobody looks down or insults me either. Everyone in this family is so kind and sweet to me, and truthfully, it's not something I'm quite used to yet. I'm always expecting insults, by default, so when they don't say anything rude to me, it's almost surprising. I guess it's something I have to work on from now on. Every day is so peaceful and nice. I'm really happy.